morning, Mark Twain Middle School. This is MTTV. I'm Skylar. And I'm David. Today is Friday, April 12th, 2013. Now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Will you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? For the court tour, essays is coming soon. If you would like to go on the court tour, you must get your essay turned in by next Friday, April 19th. See your civics teacher for more information. Yesterday, many students took the, to the pitch to try out for the student soccer team that will face the staff's team on April 25th. According to Coach Amato, the decisions were not easy, so he thanks everyone for coming out yesterday. Here is your student team. It's time to introduce the 2013 Twain Student Soccer Team. Coach, Mr. Amato. Co-captains, Enrique Ramos Chavez and Danielle Emhoff. Katerina LaFranconi. Louis Canas. Sonia Moses. Jack Snowden. Matthew Selikul. Grace Glopin. Marcel Guzman. Matthew Van Heeswick, Xavier Thomas, Sydney Lee, Degnachu Bezawerk, Tanner Phipps, Luda Smurz, Michael Lozano, Ali Koufax, Jared Rudock, Rachel Work, Kelvin Marchante, and Shelby Rogers. Thank you again to everyone who tried out. The game will be Thursday, April 25th. Tickets will be sold at lunch during the week of the game for $3. See you then. Attention Phantom Tollbooth Sound Crew. You are needed at Saturday's rehearsal from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you can make any or all of the rehearsal, that would be greatly appreciated. You're also needed at Monday's rehearsal between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. See Mr. Schechter with questions. Speaking of Mr. Schechter, Julia had a chance to sit down and interview one of our news crew advisors. Here's her latest in our series of Twain TV staff interviews. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Valley Stream, New York, which is on Long Island, not in Long Island. What is your favorite sport to play? My favorite sport to play is curling, which is played on ice using 42 pound stones of granite. My favorite movie is the Back to the Future trilogy. How far are you going? About 30 years. Uh, right now, I actually used to be into a lot of different kinds of music, but currently it's more of the indie and alternative kind of music, like my favorite uh, musician right now is Sufjan Stevens. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is 1984 by George Orwell. I love how he really paints a picture of what life would be like if we had such a totalitarian government. My favorite food is a toss-up between Long Island bagels and Long Island pizza. What is something that you would put on your bucket list? Uh, on my bucket list, I would put uh, to get an at-bat as a New York Yankee. Are you a morning or a night person? Sadly, I'm a night person, which really makes it hard to be here at school at uh, 6.30 in the morning every day. <laughs> What is your favorite movie quote? I'll be back from Arnold Schwarzenegger and Terminator and Terminator 2. I'll be back. If money was no object, what would you be doing with your life? If I could do anything with my life right now, I would probably be a play-by-play -play announcer for either my beloved New York Islanders or the New York Yankees. What is your favorite word? Hmm. Yo. If your life was a book, what would the title be? Organized chaos. Coffee or tea? 
tea, iced tea. Why did you want to become a teacher and when did you know that you wanted to be a teacher? I wanted to become a teacher when I realized how little people knew about history and government, how little they cared about it. Um, and actually I didn't really want to become a teacher until I was in my early 20s and uh, the inspiration sort of hit then. What is your favorite thing about working here at Twain? Uh, my favorite thing here at Twain is the, the people I work with every day, the students, and definitely running the news group. Thank you for your time, Mr. Schechter. Well, thanks, Julia. It was a pleasure. Would you like to nominate a teacher for an interview? Or do you have any interesting things that you want to know about your teachers? Then send us an email at twainmsnews at gmail.com or send us a tweet at twaintv. Nerdherd will be canceled today, so those people need to go to their regularly scheduled ELT. That's all we have for you from the studio. I'm Skylar. And I'm David. Stay tuned for the Administrator's Corner and the Minute of Silence after these messages. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at TwainTV, and check out at youtube.com slash TwainMSNews to watch the news crew productions. Have, Have a, a great, great weekend, weekend Twain. Twain! Twain, it is time for your daily joke. What country makes you shiver? Chili! <laughs> <laughs> Have a great day, Twain. Good morning, Mark Twain Middle School. Bus 6, 17, and 99 were late this morning. Uh, just want to have a couple announcements here this morning. Um, everybody's been wondering where Mr. Calso is. Mr. Calso, uh, he's been very sick of late. Um, he wishes he could be here, but he needs to be uh, at home and getting some rest. So uh, we all wish Mr. Calso the best, and we want him back here very soon. But many of you are probably wondering who this person to my right is. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to Mr. Uh, Mr. Turner, and he's going to be here today and next week for Mr. Calso. So I'll let Mr. Turner say a couple words. Hi, I'm uh, looking forward to, to working with you all. Uh, please don't hesitate if you need to come and see me for any reason. Uh, my office will be open for you at any time. Thank you. Have a great Friday morning, Mark Twain Middle School. <laughs>